Hello, you're watching QAC TV 7. We're delighted to be airing a series called Veteran Stories. This is the second show, and every week we bring in a man or woman who's had the uh, uh, opportunity to serve in the military and let them tell you a little bit about who they are, but most importantly, tell you wonderful stories or interesting stories, okay, about their military experiences. Now I have today one of my favorite characters, Buck Otis. And Buck, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Buck has uh, an interesting uh, life, and it's 90 years now, right? Yeah. 90 delightful years, but his military stories are particularly interesting, especially when we talk about the Battle of the Bulge. Well, Buck, let's go back with a little quick summary here. Right. You were born where? Born in Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Where, yeah. in, where in D.C.? Um, in the Langdon. Okay. Down by the railroad track. Okay. Born in D.C. <laughs> yeah. Went to what school, what high school in D.C.? Uh, uh, tech. Okay. Tech high school. Okay. Right. And you were trained as a printer? Hmm? Were you trained as a printer? Yeah. Okay. Printing, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, pr printing, I uh, stayed in printing for uh, 37 years in the government. Oh, look. Now, the best news is you're a diehard Redskin fan. Oh, yeah. All right. So, Buck, <laughs> that's two pluses. Born in D.C. in my book where I was born mm -hmm. and a Redskin fan. Right. You and I might be the only ones that admit it. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, how about let's talk about uh, when did you go in the army? Uh, in 1944. 44. June now. of 44. Uh, six days after the battle. Of, uh, Pearl six Har days after oh. the uh, invasion on Europe. Okay, invasion. Okay, all right. Uh, now you. V Day. Okay, what were you doing up to? You were in working or? Yeah, I was in working in the government. Oh, working uh, the government. in the government. And then yeah. they drafted you and pulled you out. Yeah. Where, where'd you have basic training? Macon, Georgia. Macon, Georgia. Macon, Georgia. Okay, now were you tr what did the military train you for? Yeah, rifleman. Oh, so you were infantry. Well, you were 11 infantry. Bravo. Yeah, they infantry. trained you all right. Here's a rifle. <laughs> Here's your rifle. Now, what, in those days, by the way, what was the firearm in those days? M1. Was it, it was the M1. M1, okay, yeah. Right. So you went to Macon, Georgia for basic. Yeah, yeah. And then where'd you go? I uh, went up to, I uh, came back. After basic came to Fort Meade, I was there for about ten days. Now and training they, or just waiting to go? Just somewhere? waiting. Okay. And then they shipped me to New uh, New Jersey. Okay, Fort Dix. Yeah, okay. up New Jersey, and okay. then we uh, got on the Queen Elizabeth, went overseas. Okay, and now I went in in June, and in December I was in. Six Glock months South later, you, they threw you right in with the wolves, right. right? Okay. Now, what unit were you in when you left? Um, were you assigned to a unit in the States or what? Yeah, yeah. 26 Infantry. 26. So you yeah. were 11 Bravo, 26 Infantry. Yeah. Landed where in the Europe? Big again? Red One. I landed in, uh, in Glasgow, Scotland. I okay. went over on the Queen Elizabeth. Okay. Now, what was that trip like? Uh, oh, that was seven days. That was, that was a nice ship. Now, you had, I mean, I think of the Queen Elizabeth as a luxury liner. It wasn't a luxury liner <laughs> okay. when we went. Well, <laughs> we did that bunk. <laughs> okay. Well, tell me how the GIs, now, what, 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 what were you, private? What, what yeah, rank? I was the private. Okay. Was private. What were conditions like in uh, Queen Elizabeth going over? It was just... Hammocks just or bunks? Be, just hammocks and bunks. Okay, and what'd you, and, and you what, slept and ate? Or yeah, had the, it, that's all we did, slept and ate. Okay, and that we was seven days? Seven days. Okay. We landed in Glasgow. Okay. We went from Scotland into England. How long were you in Scotland? About three days. Oh, just enough days, to move right, you out just somewhere. Just to move, okay. move down to England. I want to make sure we didn't miss the fact. You were in the big red one. That's right. Okay, which, and that's a, that nice that's red right. patch on the, right. uh, the uniform. Okay. Big red one. I guess it's this what's your left shoulder, I think. Yeah, okay. we went, well, we went over with the uh, 101st. Uh, oh, 101st Airborne. Okay. 101st got blown, you know, in the Battle of the Bulls. Yeah. They really got messed up. Okay, so you, you, Scotland to England. Great. Right. How long then, in England? Oh, a couple of days. Oh, it's I mean, just so transferring. That was yeah. just moving on, you know. Okay. Then I went on the LST and went across the channel. Okay. Got and went into France. So the see. So this was after after D Day. Okay, I mean, so this they, is they December. Landed, yeah. Okay, so this is. Uh, they, they're moving into Europe. Right. They, they're making their forward progress. Yeah, and right. So you you hit the beaches in France. Yeah. And then where'd you go next? Well, see, I didn't go in. I didn't hit the beaches in France until, I guess it was after December 16th. Okay. The uh, Battle of the Bulge had already started. Oh, the Battle of the Bulge started. Right, oh, okay. December 16th. All right. Then I went into France. I went in 
France and Belgium. Now, in combat situations, or just moving no, toward the front line? I didn't. I didn't. I was on the way to the front line. Okay. And we were walking, and all the big and this trucks. Is, and this is the big red one. The, yeah, all the trucks and everything, and the big cannons were going, leaving the front line and going back. Why was that? And I, and I was going up. Mm. I mean, wait a minute, all this big stuff. <laughs> your your so support's I, coming back and right, it's throwing you so up? I mean, when I got up there at the front line the, in the foxholes. Now, this is in Belgium or France? This is in Belgium, in Germany. Belgium. Yeah. It was up with Bradley. Okay. With Bradley. Omar Bradley. Yeah, General Omar, Omar Bradley. Bradley. And um, so I went one to the mess hall. I went to the mess hall and I got something to eat. And I went back with seconds. You said, you don't get no seconds. I said, how come I don't get no seconds? <laughs> well, you might go with Patton. And Patton don't like oh, to travel Lord. on a full stomach. <laughs> oh, so blood I, and guts, Patton. give me no seconds. So I said, okay. Mm. So, now, just to remind everybody, in the mess, in those days, you had your handheld mess kit. Mess right. kit. They right. dumped the food in. That's right. How was the food in those days in the front line? Well, it was all right. Okay. I mean, it, you're Army hungry, you eat. Yeah, that's right. You know, yeah, I right. mean, it don't make any difference. Okay. I mean, uh, so they wouldn't give you they, seconds. <laughs> no, we wouldn't give me seconds. That was, and then we went up to the front line. I was in the foxhole. And then the sergeant came over and said, Otis? I said, yes, sir. He said, you're going out in the outpost. I said, huh? <laughs> Thanks outpost. a lot, Sarge. How far is that? Well, that's about half a football field out there. Mm. About 50, 50 yards, yards of, yeah. in okay. front of the front line. All right. So we was in the outpost. So now combat, I mean, this is a combat this situation this at this combat, point? Yeah, now we're right, in combat. Right, okay. We're in combat. I saw, when I got up there, there was tanks burning. Mm. I saw a tank burning. American tanks, German tanks, German both? tanks. German tanks. And I saw a, a, a dead a German soldier. Okay. Now the Americans yeah. are advancing at this point? They had finished. They oh. had stopped them. Oh, they stopped the, the, They had stopped okay. them when, right. when, before I got there, thank okay. God. I was going to say. And uh, so then we was in the foxhole and saying a prayer constantly. <laughs> You're basically sitting no, there. Yeah. Now people shooting at you at that no, point? No, 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 no firing, nothing. Okay. I didn't fire my gun. I didn't see. I was, Lord watch out for okay. me. So the I mean, main battle would kind yeah, of. The main, they had stopped. Okay. And so we were watching. I was looking down, down the ridge and I said, there's a lot of traffic going back and forth to this church. So we called up the artillery. And the lieutenant said, yeah, there's a lot of traffic. We'll blow it up. So he, three shots. The third one hit it. Okay. And it went up like an atomic bomb. It was an ammunition mm. dump. You're kidding me. They stored this. And this was in, Germans in were church. storing in the, in the weapons, church. munitions. In yeah, the in the church. Okay, and you can and actually it see blew it. it up. This is something you can see with your naked eye. Yeah. Mm. Well, what was the communications? Crank phones, or how would you talk? No, it just had regular walkie-talkies. Oh, you well, okay. Know, you talk. Right. Okay. Then, uh, well, I guess we sent sent a runner back. And, you know, to tell them that. we didn't have a phone up there. Okay. All and right. uh, so, and after that, they, there, at that point. Just so I get my time frame, the main thrust of the Germans' battle of bullets we stopped. stopped them. You stopped that. We had stopped them. Now, are you advancing or just holding the line? Just holding the line. Holding the line. And you could see the Germans? Yeah, I, like I say, see that was the only church. one I saw. Okay. Was, you'd see the cars going back and forth. There's mm -hmm. no Germans out there okay. for, except at night when the the moon shining on the snow. You'd and see you the could silhouettes. See, you could see people moving. I, mm. Crank your rifle up, you know, get ready. Ain't nobody out there. <laughs> your, your mind working. Playing there. tricks, yeah. So then after that, uh, we came back. I was out there about two days, I guess. And the outpost, uh, way the outpost. out in the front. Okay. And then I came back to the foxhole, and I went down to uh, first aid, and what's the problem? I said, my feet are cold. I said, it was cold. He said, take your shoes off. I took my shoes off, and he looked at my feet, and he said, oh, I'll put them back on, go on back up there. So I went back up on the, on the line. Oh, they, he wouldn't let you, he no. didn't give you any talcum no, powder nothing, or nothing? No, nothing, they were just going back up there. So I went back up there, and the next day, I went back down there again. He said, 
what you probably, I said, my feet, not my feet, used to take your shoes off. Were they cold? Besides being cold, were they tingling right. or yeah. discolored? Yeah, it looked like anything? needles sticking in the bottom of your feet. Well, it hurt, I mean, it hurt. A thousand needles, mm. I mean, like walking on needles. And uh, he said, take your shoes off. I said, okay, so I started taking my shoes. He said, don't take them off. Get on the back of that Jeep, you're going to the hospital. So he got, got you off the front feet. line. Oh, he knew you had yeah, frozen feet. Yeah, yeah. So he took me, they t put me on a Jeep and we went to Lee Age. And before put me you, in the before you tell me about Lee Age, Buck, what was the time? I mean, we've just, we're all complaining because of this winter we're going through in 2015. Yeah. What were, what were the, give me the conditions, snow on the ground? It was cold. 18 inches of snow on the 18, ground. 18, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, was it snowing while you were there? No, no, it wasn't snowing so while you were there. It was half already snow. there. But I mean, it was an ice crust on top of it, you know. Mm -hmm. How about the daytime and nighttime temperature? It was cold. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have a thermometer, but I mean, it, was, it cold. was cold. I mean, definitely below freezing. Oh, yeah. Snow wasn't melt. No, the snow okay. didn't melt. The sun okay. didn't come out during the day. So it's, it's cold. It's 18 inches of snow. Right. And you're basically sitting on the snow? or No, you're in the foxhole. Oh, in the foxhole. You're sitting yeah. on the mud and dirt. It dirt. Yeah, no, dirt. I mean, dirt. It, okay. wasn't, it wasn't no mud. No <laughs> it was mud just frozen there. dirt. Right. Okay. And like I say, we didn't, I think what made my feet freeze originally was, was marching a mile with the gulaches on. Okay. My feet sweat. Sweat, yeah. And one. then when they got sat down, they, the, sat yeah. down they, they just froze, you mm -hmm. know. Now before I interrupted, so they evacuated you, okay. They evacuated me up to a, a hospital in Lee Age. Okay. And they put me in a bed. And uh, I hear these buzz bombs coming over. These are German planes? You know, yeah, it sounded like a motorboat. Hmm. And then all of a sudden the motor stopped. And that motor stopped, that means it's going to hit somewhere. Uh, that's not good, right? That's, okay, not, that's good. not good. That's not good. So it, when it blew, when it went off, it blew all the windows open in the hospital. Okay. So the nurses, they came around and they start shutting the windows out. Why don't you lock them shut? Yeah. yeah. She said, if we lock them shut, it'll blow the windows out. Mm. That's the reason we leave them unlocked. Yeah, the, pre so the, the, the pressure, pressure the bomb. blow them open. Sure, yeah. You need to come back and shut them again. Mm. So then they said, well, now we're going to ship you, ship you back to the hospital. Was the hospital destroyed? Right. It was, right. Or just the windows? So. Yeah. Okay. No, nothing broke. Okay. So, so then, now we're going to send you back to the hospital. I said, okay. I don't know. They, get, I'm in their, their care. Cool. I sure. mean, what they you say I've got to do, Buck, right? Were you still hurting? The feet still yeah, hurting? Oh, they, they were. They feel like, like needles sticking in your feet. What was the treatment? Just keep them warm? Or? Well, you can't. You could, No, they put something in the bed so the sheet won't touch your feet. Hmm. It hurt that bad? Yeah, it Just hurt the that sheet. bad. Ooh. And... Uh, so they took me out of the hospital, and they had two German prisoners of war carrying me. So I had a little one up my feet, a little teeny guy, about your size. You're carrying your feet? Yeah, it was like this, you know. <laughs> okay. And that guy little teeny behind guy me, good for the guy carrying my head, he was six foot tall. So you're on a, yeah. I, when I go down the step, <laughs> I said, I'm going to slide off the stretcher. <laughs> but the little German, he went. He lifted oh. it up. You were on he, a cot, like a look, stretcher. Look. Yeah, okay. He just picked me up and he carried me down. I went down the street. This is easy right level, be. Okay. Put me in the ambulance. And got on a train. Put me in the, in the train and sent me to Paris. Oh, that's so not bad. Paris, Paris yeah, yeah, but I didn't see nothing at Paris. or the hospital. Okay. So I left Paris and they put me on a train and sent me up to... The um, a ch a Camel or Chesterfield or one of them ports up there okay. and, and put me on a hospital ship. Oh, to get you back? Sent me to England. Oh, England, okay. So I was in England. I was in January, February, March, April in the hospital. All to months. recover. Now, did they diagnose it as frostbite? That's frostbite. It was frostbite. I didn't lose any toes. That was good. And still, when... Mm. Uh, purple blackish color? Or nope. No, no, they never got that color. Just well, a I mean, I, was, I just, well, I was just Pain. on the edge, I Pain. guess. Okay. And uh, so the doctor come in, 
And he said, hey, Otis, come here. I said, wait, I get my crutches. Now you come here and walk down here. So he made me walk. And I was hurting, man. I was hurting. Hmm. So that's well, then, you. It, it, yeah. yeah so I, I walked down there and I walked back. He said, get back in bed. Um, then he kept me there about, I guess, I was there four months. And then they shipped me to, um, up to uh, Warrington, England. There was an airport. Now, English. I repaired uh, the airport. Okay, English staff or American? Yeah. All American staff? Doctors right. and nurses? They, they were English and American, English. both. Okay. Mixed. It was in Andover, England. Okay. And they sent me up to, uh, up to the Air Force Base. And uh, they said, put me on KP duty. I said, oh, I love it. I'll watch parts and pad from now on as long as you, you don't, don't send me back up to the front line. Okay. And then, uh, KP was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, I was. Uh, so then I was, I, was on, I guess, there until at the end of the war. Okay. Uh, I was still there. At that place. I was there. At still the under the medical war. care? Huh? Still under no, medical No, no, I was on. Uh, oh, you, was, you were released? No, when they sent me up there to do parts and pan, okay. they had discharged me okay. from the. But they sent an Air Force man in my place. <laughs> back, <laughs> back up to back the front line. So after the war was ended, I got on a the, They had sent me to a place in Germany called Overhoffenhoffenhofen. Say that. Say that. Overhoffenhoffenhofen. <laughs> it's one of my and, favorite songs. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Uh, uh, it was a. Uh, an air base. Okay. A so German was, air base. Would, from KP duty, yeah. they sent then you to a German air force base. Right. In Germany. In Germany, okay. yeah. Oh. In Oppen Oppen. Okay. And then, uh, so down there, they made me a supply sergeant. Okay. Well, supply clerk. I now, mean, how were you, how how before, but how were your feet feeling at that point? Well, all right. You okay? My feet were all right. Recovered. Yeah, they were cured. KP saved okay, you again. Right. <laughs> so, they sent me down there, and, uh, I was down there and uh, supply clerk, and, uh, and so at that I, point the, the GI were occupying Germany along yeah, with the French, right, the Russians, right. the British, and everybody else. Right. Okay. And then, well, the German people, you know, what I mean, the civilian people, when when they go to the mess hall, when you had anything left over in your mess kit, right. they stand outside waiting for it. And these were the victims yeah. of the war. I mean, you know. Right. Okay. They're waiting for the food you just had to left hand down. over. Just a handout. You know? And uh, so we were there and giving out supplies and everything. And, and then, when you're giving out supplies to the GIs, getting yeah. equipment. Yeah. Were you allowed to go into towns? And yeah, mix? Well, oh. yeah, we were allowed to go into town. In fact, I, uh, I had a Air Force mama's jacket. Okay. It was a beautiful jacket. Big you leather know. jacket. I said, like, yeah, yeah, nice jacket. And uh, we were going into town. So I had that on and we got to the gate and the MPs. Where'd you get that jacket? I said, I got it in the mess. I mean, the supply room. Yeah. You can't take it off base. Mm. He made me take my jacket you off and give, sell it, it, down to, there. give it to him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> MPs, I love right. MPs, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so I took it off and we went in, went to town. I went to, I went to Birch's Garden. Okay. Now Crow's where, Nest. Okay. Now, the, oh, this is uh, Hitler's up in the, up the place up in the mountains. Right. Oh, oh tell us up, about that. Went, yeah. What, what was that like? That was up up in the mountains, and uh, it was bombed out, you know. Okay. I mean, destroyed. GIs just went up there so they yeah, could say they've seen right. it. Yeah. Now, windy yeah. old road to get up to the top. Right. Or, I had yeah. to put the truck in four-wheel drive to make it up the hill. Get it up. <laughs> it was that steep. Now, what, what was left? I mean, was it the There wasn't nothing or? left. Oh, you no. could see the swimming pool, you know, and so Okay. <clears throat> then, I, then I went one other time when I was in uh, over Flopper and Hop and Hope. We went up to Dachau. Okay. Oh, you saw some the, of the internment camps. Yeah, okay. internment camps. Describe that. And, huh? Oh, I mean... The walls about three feet high. You could see the blood on the walls. You can see the three blood. Three feet high. Now at that point, were there any? No, they was. They were gone. It was, it was empty. People I mean, were gone. They were okay. gone. It was empty. But um, then outside, you see the lime pits where they used to throw the Put body the in and throw the lime on top of it. And it, it was 
heartbreaking. I mean, to see what people that did, you know. Were, they, and, were the camps being used for? I mean, they were just no. They, they just had empty. It, it, it was empty. Didn't put hey, German prisoners. There was nobody. Right? Nobody was there, but okay. nobody except the guys taking you around and showing you. Oh, they give you like, like a guide. Oh, yeah. Guide. Okay. Mm. And, yeah, it was. It was heartbreaking. Okay. You know, how about, and you saw what the what the, the little buildings they lived in and uh, described. The, they, we what? went in the gas chamber. Oh, where they went, the gas everybody chamber. went in to take a shower, and they turned the gas on mm -hmm. and, and gassed them. You know, I mean. Uh, did the GIs know when you were? Let me just go back. Did you when you when you were on the front lines and uh, the other places you've been right. describing? Were you all aware? Did the GIs know? Did the average GI know? Hey, they they have these horrible death camps. No, we no, didn't know it was that knew. bad. No, no, no um, okay. at that time, I mean, you know, I mean, we, <clears throat> we didn't get any newspaper up there telling okay. you what was no going stars on every day. Right. No okay. stars were striped right, okay. or nothing. So, so they actually took mm. you on tours of this stuff. Huh? They actually took you on tours. Yeah, well, yeah. That would have been interesting. Yeah, right? they did. So where she saw uh, Hitler's mountain retreat, you yeah, saw these tragic that death town, camps. Right. And then I went. We went into uh, Munich one time. Okay. And it was Munich totally yeah. destroyed, or was it? It was pretty well destroyed. It was destroyed. Yeah. Okay. How and were the German people less living on the streets, or what was? They were living on the street, living the best they could. Surviving you know, any like, way they could. Right. Like. Okay. Uh, I guess they were surviving the best they could. Okay. I mean, you know, right. I guess they had homes and everything okay. on the outskirts of okay. town and were everything. Were they rebuilding already, or was it just no? Still they had no. Just, the, okay. See, the war was just over. Okay. I mean, the war was over in May, right? Right. Right. And this was in June. Oh, so it's still yeah. It's literally May. still smoldering. No. Yeah. Okay. No, this was in May. The war was over in May. Okay. Yeah, and I came home and. Uh, December. But would you work? I mean, it always interested me when I was in the military, except for Vietnam, like in Korea, we basically worked a, uh, I guess, a, a five and a half day week. Right. And used the weekends to get leave. Is that, are they the conditions? Yeah, we yeah. worked about six days a week. Six days. We got a day to do a little travel. And, okay. and Sunday we had off. Okay. You know, I mean, what off? I mean, we're still in the military. And what rank? Were you still private? What rank were you then? No, uh, the Congress said if you was overseas for six months, you get a PFC. So All right. I made PFC. You got a stripe. You're well, looking I, good. An act of Congress. <laughs> Look, just for the heck of it, when I started, was in the Army in 1966, yeah. uh, my first paycheck was about $99. What were you getting paid as a PFC? $18. $18 a month. $18 a month. Eighteen dollars a month, mm -hmm. unbelievable. Okay, yep. and that was, and that included overseas pay and right. Oh. Yep. Mm. That was it. Okay. Mm. So what else? So what? What else is going on? You're, uh, you're working in a supply uh, right. depot. Right. You're doing these little trips. Right. And you get it. Uh, are you waiting for your points? How did you get out? I mean, what, what happened next? What happened is my brother-in-law was a DC policeman, okay. and he found out my father was dying of cancer. Oh, okay. So he went to the Red Cross. And they got you an emergency and leave? got me okay. a military uh, uh, discharge. Yeah, they actually what, put you back on a boat? How, yeah, how they, was the exit? Well, yeah. what happened is we had uh, this colonel came over and said, I need a mess kit and I need uh, something else he needed because I'm going back to the States and I need this to get on the boat. I have okay. to have the, the to equipment, eat. right? Sure. Huh. I said, okay. So I gave him my mess kit and everything. So the next day, captain comes to me and says, you ready? I said, no, I can't go. I said, because the truck's battery's dead. I said, I've got to get a battery. Said, I don't mean that. I mean, are you ready to go home, Bill? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> so your they, battery was working fine. Okay. So right. he said, well, I got your orders here. You, Going to home. Terrific. Compassionate right. or discharge so they, or whatever. I went from from over hopping, hopping over and went up to to uh, Chesterfield. That was uh, up in France. What they called the you know, the discharge the, area. The, yeah. uh, oh. Where he got on the boat. Okay, right, okay. Well, I mean uh, the pier. So we went up there and uh 
Now, you sound, something tells me you didn't get the Queen Elizabeth. No, the Queen I didn't. Under, I this, got General the Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> and this is an old troop carrying Yeah, ship. it's a little yeah. old boat. Right. And uh, so I, <laughs> as the colonel, I give my mess kit to. He going on the same boat He's with me. He's on the same me. boat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually so see I him? I caught him. Okay. So, uh, and we came into, into Boston. I'll never forget. It was cold. It seven it was day, seven day, again, seven yeah. days, come back. Eight days. It took you an extra <laughs> day to come back. Right. Okay. Eight days. And they were up there, and they had a tugboat out there, and it had a band on there playing. I oh, said, when they came in? I said, how in the world are they playing the horn? Like, oh, cold oh, it is. Man. I said, their lips must be freezing, you know? Mm. But they played, and they said, we got our di disembarked, and they said, uh, they took us into camp and they said, what do you want to eat? And everybody, steak. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> so, An interesting story, they did the same thing for us guys coming back from right, Vietnam. They had right, a 24-hour steakhouse right, out at Fort Lewis and right. they had steaks. So you had a nice big That's steak, right, your right, stomach's full. Right. And then um, I went home and then they went to North Carolina, down to Greensboro, North oh, Carolina. Oh, from Boston? They had to go back down to North Carolina? Yeah, well, I went, yeah, North Carolina. I was stationed down there. And I really didn't do much in North Carolina. We just how long hanging you out, yeah. you know. You're waiting to be get yeah, this yeah. How long were you there? 21. Oh, how oh, long? Yeah. Well, I got to, uh, about a week. Oh, okay. About just to wait for the paperwork to yeah. catch up with you and get back. But I had, they said, uh, they gave me a, a school bus to drive. And they said, what do you, they said, you got to go from Greensboro to Goldsboro and take these kids over there. Okay. I mean, these troops. Right. They came back. They didn't have room for me in Goldsboro, so I had to take them to Greensboro. Else, so, okay. All right, so I got a bus load, 2 o'clock in the morning, mm. taking them driving. to Greensboro. Okay. Well, I got lost with Greensboro. <laughs> I went around the circle. <laughs> You're driving so, the back yeah, roads. <laughs> so, so I finally got them up there at 2 o'clock in the morning, and then they're going to feed them. Okay. And then I got to take the bus back to Goldsboro. Mm. <laughs> so... I guess I was there about a month or so. Oh, a month before you got no, discharged? I was, no, I was there longer than that because I came home in December and I got discharged in uh, April. Lord. In the meantime, so, your dad's uh, still ill? Yeah. Your dad yeah. was still oh, okay. Well, I got home, I got well, home you, to see you him. You could get home on the weekend. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, but then I got discharged in April. And that was it. That was it, okay. And what rank? You come out of PFC? I'm still PFC. Buck, when they discharge you, did you, how much was your separation pay? You know how they, did they I give you? I think they give me $50, $50. I think. <laughs> now, $50, and that was a bit of money then, yeah, right? right. Yeah, right. Fort Meade, I was Fort Meade. I could almost walk home oh, from okay. Fort Meade. Oh, so you actually got discharged mm. from, uh, what Fort, was the I went in Fort Meade and come out of Fort what Meade. What was the dis? I always get a kick at, Buck, my discharge ceremony, Fort Lewis, Washington, after three years in the Army, a year in Vietnam, a guy said, hey, put on the record. Guys, go home. Well, buy it. That's right. That's it. They give <laughs> you a piece of paper and a, and, a, and a ticket for the train to back to Union Station, and that's it. <laughs> and that's it. And $50 in your right, pocket. Right, right. Well, it sounds yeah, like that it, was it. Yeah, you had some interesting... Say that yeah. German city again. Overfoppen Hoppenhofen. Okay. We're going to, that's, I'm going to stick with that. That's the song, <laughs> Well, Buck, look at our time's about up. Right. Look, I just want to, first of all, thank you for coming on the show. Right. And thank you. I salute all the veterans for serving. Mm. And I'm, the good news is you didn't get frostbite. And you learned how to pronounce a city that I will never be able to pronounce. Yes, okay. You can. And that's fine, that colonel, and get your mess kit back. Okay. Right? okay. Right. Buck, thank you very much. All right. Thank you for your service, too. Okay. Thank you, Buck. All right. This is Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching So Veteran Stories. All right. We're delighted you joined us. And we'll be here a couple times a month and bringing on the men and women who served our country and are going to continue to serve you. Thanks again. You're watching QAC TV 7.